So I was going to try and take a bunch of pictures, but I think it might even be easier to just uh, to kind of walk through it here. So I've got the Tiny G mounted up here. Uh, I've got a 3D printed mount that I have the STL for, and it holds it up so that way I can blow a 40 millimeter fan on the underside because that's where the copper sink is for cooling those chips. I got some heat sinks back there on the chips. Uh, epoxy welded onto there um, and the fan blowing across them so it keeps them pretty cool. You know, wiring on a Tiny G is pretty straightforward, a lot less going into it than a 3D printer than I'm used to. So I've got all the wiring running through here and I just, uh, I got four conductor and six conductor and eight conductor like belled and shielded uh, wiring depending upon how many things I was running like a motor and an end stop I'd use the six conductor just a motor the four conductor and I've got all of the uh, all the grounds from all the shielding running together as it comes in and brought over to ground so shielding out all the interference have a uh, I think it's a 90 millimeter uh, 24 volt uh, fan and it's running through just from micro center like a like a filtered intake you'd cut into the side of a computer. Uh, my 24 volt power supply. Oh, come on, focus. 24 volt power supply there. I've got two switches here. One of them turns the uh, the water pump and uh, and cuts the legs for the uh, uh, inverter VFD. Um, so that way I can e-stop the spindle. And then the other one turns power on and off to the tiny G. Um, and then I've got uh, a pot for remote uh, turning up and down the, the RPMs. Um, those switches just go into this little relay bank here so that way I can control you know, the higher voltage with the low voltage switch. Um, just some breakout connectors, uh, uh, terminal connectors that I got. I get them from a local surplus house for like 50 cents a piece so they're pretty handy to to just kind of clean up the wiring as it comes in. Uh, wiring as it comes in here, I got a bunch of these cord grip connectors off of uh, eBay or Amazon a long time ago. Um, and then also one of these connectors here, it's got like a like a split insulation and the, and the piece itself clips apart. So that way you can fit in larger style connectors like for video and uh, and USB and things that won't fit through a cord grip. This right here is a little 3D printed mount that I came up with and what that does is just holds it up flush against the front so that way I can have uh, just a little 3D printed PET button face through there so I can hit the power switch and it's translucent enough that I can see if the computer's lit up or not. Um, yeah, a little USB port here on the outside that runs in through the, the cord grip or the, uh, the split connector back there. Got my tunes on there. So, if I flip this on, turns on my VFD and turns on the pump. And I can quickie stop that. And I can turn on my Tiny G. Or turn that off as like a e-stop and then of course the potentiometer for the VFD speed um, yeah for wiring up on the unit itself I'm using like a Molex style um, uh, like PCI power connectors basically everywhere for stepper disconnects um, so I do that Sorry, I gotta turn the camera sideways, but I got a few of them back here where I connect into the, the motors and you know motors here just so I can easily service anything and pull it out of there. I got the monitor just mounted on a uh, on a two x four back there with a 3D printed mount, visa mount. So I just screwed it right to that. So I've got my monitor set up right above my computer and got the. Old trusty Logitech cordless keyboard and mouse, a couple of wrenches, this one fits one side of the spindle, this side fits the other. So I got two of them here and it makes easy work for changing out the bits. That was like the first thing I cut 
uh, short of these taller sides. Now one one downside to the taller sides is you end up with more deflection. So I I think Brandon has something going with how uh, his current height's on there and not sticking it up too high. But you know the cuts and everything I'm getting are looking pretty good to me. I can't get it to focus, but um, great machine. Love the thing. Brandon did awesome work and hopefully I helped a little bit. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, I could try and write up a diagram, but uh, hopefully this would kind of give you more than anything. Just the kind of how I laid out the panel. Tried to keep the low voltage on one side and the high voltage on the other so we aren't getting a lot of crosstalk. And I could use a little cleanup on my wiring down there, but all in all, not too bad.